everybody, Matt O'Ree back here with you. Once again, welcome back to Mob on TV, the official Matt O'Ree Band YouTube channel. If you haven't clicked subscribe, please do so. Also, that little bell icon, smash that thing a few times. That'll uh, let you know when I upload new videos. And since we're all on lockdown, this is a, a daily, uh, daily upload. So I'm doing a video every day to bring some, uh, some uh, information and some uh, entertainment to your household on a daily basis. So uh, also uh, hit uh, some thumbs ups too. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. That also helps me keep making videos as well. So uh, wait a minute, something's different in here. I don't know if you guys know what it is. <gasps> I got a new banner. Holy crap. Yep, my old banner was made by my dear old friend, uh, Harry. Harry made that banner for me years ago. A lot of sweat and blood and tears in that thing. And uh, uh, it was time to finally retire the old banner. But not to worry, Harry, your legacy lives on with the Matto Reband. Uh, so just in case you noticed, the backdrop's a little bit different today. We have a brand new banner. Also, don't forget to check out our website, MattoReband.com, our Twitter page, our Instagram page, all that good stuff. So I hope that you, uh, you guys liked yesterday's uh, video with the Comet guys down in Louisiana. And uh, again, I absolutely love those guys. They've been such a huge supporter of me for a long, long time. And uh, I really much appreciate that. And uh, I support them uh, a thousand percent as well. So since we did the Coda pedal, which is their new overdrive pedal, uh, I figured we'd stay in Louisiana for one more day and we're going to do another piece of gear from Comet. It's called the Comet Air Brake, and it's this little device right here. So for those of you just tuning in or new to the amplifier guitar world, uh, this is a handy, handy device when you start gigging. And uh, I'll get into that in a second. How this works is this device, uh, you plug your, the output of your amplifier into the input jack here. Uh, and then you have two more jacks at the bottom that go out to uh, corresponding speaker cabinets. Now, when I was growing up, a dear friend of mine, when I, uh, I was 15, was giving me a lot of information on amplifiers, which I had no education yet prior to that point. And he always said, the only thing that goes between your head and your cabinet is your speaker cable. And in this case, I'm using George L. speaker cable because I love George L. Uh, cables. And uh, thank you, George L., once again. So uh, this is the only device that is allowed to go between the head and the cabinet. Now, there's a bunch of different companies out there that make a similar device. The point of this whole device is to be able to turn down the sound of the amplifier before it hits the speakers, but not affect the tone of the amplifier. So why do guitar players normally play so, so loud on stage? Uh, a lot of it has to do with they're trying to get a particular sound out of the amplifier by pushing the preamp section of the amplifier and the power section of the amplifier to the point where it's distorting. And that uh, sweet spot is what really makes the thing sound good. It gives all the notes sustain. It gives your notes feedback if you want that too. Um, there's a whole you know, slew of reasons why we all play that way. But even me as, as a, as a long-time uh, uh, touring performer, uh, when I'm home playing the Stone Pony and they book a show with us, they know they're getting the Mantle Reband. They know that we're on the loud side. They're okay with that. So um, if we're in the middle of Indiana or Missouri, the club owner doesn't necessarily know us that well. The sound guy was just hired for the night. So I come waltzing in with my train wreck and my cab that do a sound check and the sound guy's like, oh my God, you gotta turn that thing down. I can't balance out the sound of the band because your guitar is cutting through the whole sound of the band and out to the audience. Now train wreck amplification uh, is, uh, Two of the models are 30 watt heads. The other model, the, the Express, that I use most of the time is 36 watts. Now that sounds a lot less than 100, um, but the volume of that 36 watt train wreck Express is only slightly, slightly quieter than an old 70s Marshall 50 watt. So even though 36 to 50, it's only, you know, there's some digits in there, obviously, in numbers, but uh, 
it's only slightly quieter. And sometimes it's still too loud for the sound guy or for the room. The room might be extremely reflective, uh, extremely live. Uh, interesting thing about the train wrecks is that they, they manage to take on their surroundings, if that makes sense. So when I'm here in my little studio with carpeted floor and all this equipment and guitars, it soaks up all the sound. And it doesn't sound as loud in the room. But if you put that same amp in a theater that was designed to carry sound off the stage into the back row, uh, wow, look out, the thing is really loud. The last time I played uh, the Count Basie Theater, which is a beautiful theater in Red Bank, holds about 1,400 seats, uh, I had a face my cabinet behind the drum riser facing against the wall. We actually covered it up with blankets, uh, put the microphones on it first, covered it up with blankets just to be able to control it because in that room it projects like you wouldn't believe. It sounds glorious, but it's really hard to get a good clean mix out front when you're the loudest thing that's going. Now, us guitar players don't mind that, right? We kind of want to be the loudest thing going. So anyway, so that leads us back to the Comet air brake. Now, Ken Fisher, who originally designed the Comet um, I'm sorry, originally designed the train wreck amplifiers. Uh, when he became too sick to build because he had a lot of health issues, he designed new circuit designs and licensed it to Comet Amplification out of Louisiana. Ken really loved Mike and Holger as much as I do. And um, so he wanted his legacy to continue even though he was physically not able to build amps anymore. Um, so they kind of picked up where Ken left off. So Comet also did the air brake. Tr Kenny also made the train wreck air brake. I actually had one, an original one here at the house. And of course I had a peek inside just to see what was going on. And the contents of the Comet and the train wreck, to me, looked identical. Now maybe under the trained eye of a, of a super you know, uh, electronic guy, uh, you might see different numbers or something, uh, but I, to me, it looked they looked the same. So I wanted to, just curious as to, I know Comet was such a huge uh, fan of Ken and wouldn't do anything that Ken didn't approve, especially with stuff like this. So um, it looked identical to me. So I bought this on Reverb. It's a useful, useful tool. Uh, it helps me in a situation where I'm just too darn loud. I've tried other options where I'll turn the cabinet around, I just mentioned. I've also tried the plexiglass, you know, gobos. I hate the way they sound. I can't stand it. Um, but they do help. So I have them in our trailer in the case of an emergency. I've also used those big microphone shields for a portable vocal studio booth that you could buy. They take up kind of, I would say, heck, uh, half of the, circum the, the surface of the cabinet. So they do help as a shield overall, but they also help for a shield on the microphones. So uh, drum noise doesn't bleed into the back side of the microphone. So it actually gives you a cleaner guitar signal too. So I have them. So whatever situation we walk into when we're on tour, wow, this room is really bright. The sound guy's not going to like this. Let me, let me already make, make a, you know, an effort to, to tame the volume. I usually have this in, in my uh, gig bag too somewhere or, or in the trailer just in case. So, um, we had the three uh, input and the two outputs for two speaker cabinets. It also has a line output, which is exactly what the train wreck had too, the train wreck version of this, with a, uh, a, a volume knob that you can, you can control the amount of uh, level coming out to that. So the line level out or slave out, I guess you could say, um, would go to another type of device. You can go direct. You can do some kind of trick things with it. I haven't had a chance to really play with that too much. But this video is just about saying, hey, this is what it sounds like with the train wreck rocket. Uh, I'm going to give you all the different uh, clicks of attenuation. There's five different ones. So you can hear as you start diminishing the volume how much of the tone gets changed. Um, that little bit of tone that people will argue about could still be a lifesaver on a gig. So I'd rather take the little bit less of a tone than having to turn the amp down and not getting the tone I want at all. So again, it's always a compromise, guys. When you're out there touring and playing clubs and bars, uh, or even, you know, well, stadiums is a different thing. You know, don't have to worry about that there. But um, you, you still have to, you know, have to have a relationship with your sound guy, whether he's hired by you or the venue. He's the most important guy because he's going to make you sound good. If he doesn't like you, he might not make you sound good. Fans might not show up the next time. Your numbers go down. 
all goes downhill. So in a, in, a, in today's world, it's all about touring for the original artists. And in touring, it's all about the numbers of people who bought tickets to see a play. Those numbers translate to t-shirt sales and hat sales and keychain sales and coffee mug sales. And that's how the machine is working nowadays. So that's another side note. So let's jump into it. We're going to start with my 61 Stratocaster. You've seen videos on this before. Um, I'm going to give you two different clips, one on the neck pickup, one on the bridge pickup. Then we do hit the next click bridge, uh, neck pickup, bridge pickup, so forth, and we go through it. Then we're going to check it out with my Les Paul. Here we go. So what'd you think? Pretty impressive. I think this sounds really killer with the Trainwreck Rocket. No surprise, because if the guts of this are the same, which I think they are, as the original Trainwreck, I'm sure that that's what Kenny was uh, voicing this thing to go with. Um, I'm sure you'll get different varying results, much like the Coda pedal with different types of amplifiers. Um, this model, I believe, is only 16 ohms, which is what I run my heads on anyway. I like the sound of 16 ohms. I just saw an Eric Johnson video last night, and, and uh, not oddly enough, but his lead tones, his cabinet was wired for 8. He said he liked the sound of 8. So different ohms do change the tone slightly, and of course, Eric... Uh, would definitely know. He's just an absolute genius with that stuff. So, uh, But I like the sound of my amps on 16 ohms, and I believe that's what Kenny really had in mind anyway. So uh, again, check this out, CometAmps.com. Uh, I know they don't make this anymore because you can't get the parts anymore. 
but I'm sure they'd be happy to answer questions. You can find them on Reverb. You can find them used if, if you ever find that you need this thing. It saved me a, a handful of times. Um, and uh, thank God for something like this. So once again, uh, check out our website, mattoreband.com. Any questions, email me at info at And uh, don't forget this Sunday night, I keep pushing it since I'm doing videos every day and you guys are tuning in. Uh, I, once again, appreciate the support too, um, that we're going to be doing a live couch concert, my wife and I doing a duet. Uh, that we do a lot of times on tour, and uh, we had such a great response last week. It was so much fun. Really looking forward to this Sunday. Uh, we had tons of requests. We're going to try to get to all the ones we didn't get to last week, uh, plus some more original uh, material, material from us. So check that out. Uh, in the meantime, if you go out there, be safe, stay healthy, don't get sick. Thanks for watching.